Hi guys, so basically I wanted to do this really quick Photoshop tips tutorial because I mean this is something that even I've only just learned myself. Now I've been using Photoshop for ages, for years nearly, well for years, yeah. And <laughs> this is something which I've never come across. Now some people have commented in my videos before like, why don't you use this, it's so much easier. Now looking back on it I feel really stupid but this actually is a really easy and quick technique to isolate a certain colour and make the rest of the image black and white. So for example this Ferrari picture here We've got this nice vivid red and the background has got these kind of blues, yellows and we're going to get rid of those colours and just keep the red. Now the easiest way to do this is just to use your little um, eyedropper tool and then just select the red. Now I kind of choose the most vivid red and even and you'll see what kind of effect this makes when using this feature in Photoshop. So we're just going to go to select and then color range. Now what this does is it selects all the color there which is similar and near to the color we've sampled. Now if you change the fuzziness it kind of decreases how much is selected and when you increase it it increases how much is selected. Now you can change the sample color if you want but as you can see the kind of different colors that you sample affect how much of the image is selected. So if you select say this color here, you're going to get the background image selected too and when you make this a new layer it won't be as effective. So we want to choose one where just the car is visible. And I think that is probably the best. Now on here I've got my selection preview to matte black. Now you can have none, you can have grayscale, white matte or quick mask. However I obviously choose black matte as it isolates it completely and you can see what's selected. Now once that's done, all you've got to do is press OK and it selects it for you. Then what you want to do is just control copy and paste it onto a new layer. Now once you've done that, you want to go back onto your previous layer, go to image, adjustments, hue saturation and just bring right down the saturation. Now obviously because this tool selects around the colour you've sampled, sometimes some of the colours are lost, like here. However, if you actually look at the original image, there's not that much red in those colours anyway as it's got quite a lot of gloss from the reflection. Now this is a really easy technique and I myself have been using the pen tool for ages or even the quick selection tool and it's never really very accurate but as you can see this is a very accurate way of doing it and it looks great. So thanks for watching guys, this is just a quick tips video and mainly for beginners but obviously for people who might not know as well like I didn't. Um, so thank you for watching, if you want more quick tips videos, just quick Photoshop tips about how to use certain little bits of the software, then give this video a like, comment and of course subscribe. Comment in the section below if you have any other kind of ideas about little things you want me to make a video on. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, remember to subscribe, like, comment, favourite and stay tuned for another quick tips video.